Welcome to Lesson 3, Adding Style to an HTML Page. In this lesson, you learn how to use cascading style sheets to add style to an HTML page. As I said in Lesson 1, HTML defines the structure of a page, while cascading style sheets define the styles on a page. A cascading style sheet is made up of a collection of CSS rules. A CSS rule consists of a selector and one or more declarations. The selector can either select an entire class of, H of HTML elements or an individual HTML element by indicating the ID of the element. Creating and modifying CSS rules or cascading style sheet rules, you can use the modify style window and the add style rule window to help you modify and create your CSS rules. Applying CSS rules, the reason they are called cascading style sheets is that the styles can cascade. The style that is defined closest to the object is the style that is applied. This is how they are prioritized. Inline styles, which are the styles applied directly to the element. Internal style sheets, which are internal style sheets that are located within the head element of the page and then you have external style sheets which are actually as it the name implies external to the document itself. Managing your uh, cascading style sheet rules is also very simple. There's a cascading style properties window, a manage styles property window, and apply styles property window and I'll show you each of these windows during the lab. In this lesson, you will apply styles to the HTML document that you created in Lesson 2. Lesson requirements for this particular tutorial are cheesesandwich.htm, which is the HTML document you created in Lesson 2, the super easy recipes logo.gif, and your hint for this tutorial is to use the Manage Styles window to manage your styles. To get started with this tutorial, select New Website, ASP.NET Empty Website, and enter Lesson 3 for the name of the application, and click the OK button. Click Website, Add New, Add Existing Item, and navigate to the cheesesandwich.htm file, select it, and click Add. Now navigate to the Super Easy Recipes logo.gif file, select it, and hit Click the Add button. Click Website Add New Item and select the Style Sheet Template. Once you've located it, click Add. To add the stylesheet.css file to your project, double click the cheese sandwich.htm file to open it and drag the style sheet to the head element. Save the file, update the CSS rules on the style sheet to the body, add a margin, and a width rule. By right clicking the cascading style sheet, you can also pull up the menu. One of the options is to build a style. So for header 1, you want the color to be pound 66, 33, 99, or you can just uh, use that drop down list and pick some named colors. And click the OK button. You can also just right click and select Add Style Rule. In this case, we're going to add a style rule for all the TD elements. So the background color will be yellow. And the padding will be 5 pixels. And 
We're going to add another style for a paragraph element. You can see all the different categories that there are. Here's the one we want, which is the width is going to be 500 pixels. Click the OK button, save it, and now let's view our HTML page in the browser. So right click it. Oh, let's view it in design view first. You can see it's picking up the styles from the cascading style sheet. Now if we do view in browser, let's see it picks up the styles that we just saw in design view. Now let's add some more cascading style sheet rules to the cascading style sheet. In this case, we're going to add a rule that applies to a class. And now through the magic of video, I have completed the entry of all of the CSS rules for the style sheet. I can save the style sheet, return to my HTML page, and view it in the browser. As you can see, the sidebar is now to the right. If I want to move the sidebar to the left, I can float it to the left instead. Save all the pages, go back to the HTML, view it in the browser. And now the sidebar has been moved to the other side. This is the CSS properties window. If I select the sidebar div, you can see that it shows all of the rules that are being applied to that particular element. This is the Manage Styles window. What's nice about the Manage Styles window is it not only shows can show you all of the styles, it can show you the styles on the current page or just the styles used by the element that is currently selected. Also, you can use the Manage Styles window to drag rules from one style sheet to another style sheet. This is the Apply Styles window. You can use this window to create styles and apply styles. For example, I'm going to apply the sidebar style to the ingredients.